everyone this is Jaykalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve dy by dx plus yx equals to y square into e power x square by 2 into sine x solution given differential equation dy by dx plus yx equals to y square e power x square by 2 into sin x. Now you can write double equation as dy by dx plus x into y equals to write the functions of x firstly e power x square by 2 into sin x into y square. So, by comparing this equation with Bernoulli's equation, we can say that the given equation is a Bernoulli's equation or we can say that this is in Bernoulli's form. dy by dx plus p into y equals to q into y power n, right? Which is? Bernoulli's equation in y. Again, by comparing these two, we'll get p and q. See, here p and q are either functions of x alone or constants. And n is a real number such that n is not equal to 0 and n is not equal to 1. Right? By comparing these two equations, we'll get p and q where p equals to x, q equals to e power x square by 2 into sin x and compare y square with y power n then we will get n equals to 2. So here p and x involves x. So we can say that p and q are functions of x alone. See we can say this function so of x alone because it does not involve any other variable other than x, right? Fine. Now, we'll reduce the Bernoulli's equation to linear form. We know that the standard form of linear equation is Or linear equation in y can say is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants right so if you notice you have Bernoulli's equation dy by dx plus p into y equals to some q into y power n. But in this case, we have p and q are either functions of x or constants. Here p and q are actually functions of x alone. But we have another function in RHS y squared. So this y squared has to be eliminated from RHS or from this equation I can say. Okay. So, if you can eliminate y square from RHS, you will get q equals to function of x alone. Okay, only you will get RHS part in terms of x. So, now, how you will replace, sorry, how you will eliminate y square from this equation? Simply by multiplying the whole equation with 1 by y square or dividing the whole equation with y square or simply take this y square to LHS. You can directly take y square to LHS, then you'll get 
1 by y square into dy by dx plus x into y by y square equals to d power x square by 2 into sin x. Right. Then 1 by y square into dy by dx plus x into here 1 by gets cancelled and you'll get 1 by y equals to d power x square by 2 into sin x. What happens? If we multiply the equation with 1 by y square on both sides, okay, we are just going to multiply 1 by y square on both sides of this equation and see what happens. 1 by y square times dy by dx plus x into y equals to 1 by y square times e power x square by 2 into sin x into y square. Then you'll get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus xy by y square equals to 1 by y square into e power x square by 2 sin x into y square. Here y square gets cancelled and here 1 by gets cancelled. And you'll get 1 by y squared into dy by dx plus x into 1 by y equals to e power x squared by 2 into sin x. The same thing. All we have to do is we have to eliminate y squared from RHS part. Okay. So the reduced equation is 1 by y square into dy by dx plus x into 1 by y into e power x square by 2 into sin x. Here our aim is to reduce the given equation to linear form, right? Now let 1 by y equals to some u. Or u equals to 1 by 1. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x okay, du by dx equals to d by dy of 1 by y into dy by dx is equals to derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square into dy by dx, right? Actually, this comes from the chain rule. du by dx equals to du by dy into dy by dx. Here you use a function of, this is a function of y, right? So, it involves dy in between. Okay, we'll find the rate of u with respect to y. Since you have u equals to 1 by y, then du by dy will be the rate of 1 by y is minus 1 by y square. See? du by dy equals to the rate of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square. Now replace du by dy by minus 1 by y square. Then you'll get the same thing. Right? So instead of using lengthy process, we'll just do directly. du by dx equals to derivative of 1 by y with respect to y minus 1 by y square into dy by dx, right? So let 1 by y equals to u, fine. Here you have positive 1 by y square into dy by dx, right? But we have negative sign here. So what we'll do is we'll simply multiply on both sides with minus. Then we'll get minus du by dx equals to 1 by y square into dy by dx. 
So like 1 by y equals to u, then 1 by y square into dy by dx will be minus du by dx. So we can replace first term and 1 by y by this and the other equation reduces to minus du by dx plus x into u equals to e power x squared by 2 into sine x. See here, the coefficient of du by dx is minus 1. We always prefer plus 1 as a coefficient of du by dx, right? So what we'll do is, we'll simply multiply on both sides with minus, then you'll get minus into minus plus du by dx, minus into plus minus x u equals to minus into plus minus e for x squared by 2 into sine x, which is linear equation in u. Right? Where P and Q are functions of x alone since x is a independent variable here. And the integrating factor of linear equation in y, sorry, linear equation in u is given by integral e power integral p into dx. And the general solution is given by u into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into differential dx plus c. Fine. Now by comparing these two, we can say that we have reduced the given equation to linear equation in u. Linear in u. Now again, by comparing these two, we'll get p and q. P equals to minus x and Q equals to minus e for x squared by 2 into sine x. See here, P and x has functions of x other and there is no other variable, right? It does not involve any other variable other than x. So we call these two as functions of x alone. Right. Now, we'll find the general solution to the given equation by finding integrating factor. Okay. The general solution of the reduced equation, that is linear equation, will be the general solution of the given equation here. So let's find integrating factor firstly. We know that the integrating factor of linear equation in u and x is given by e power integral p dx for p equals to minus x into dx this is equals to e power write the constant sorry write the sine negative sine outside the integral you get minus integral x dx is equals to e power minus x square by 2. So here our integrating factor is e power minus x square by 2. Since we got the integrating factor now, we are ready to find the general solution. So the general solution of the given equation is given by u into integrating factor equals integral q for q equals to e power, sorry, minus e power x square by 2 into sin x into integrating factor e power minus x squared by 2 into dx plus c is equals to take this minus outside the integral you'll get minus integral 
e power x square by 2 sin x into e power minus x square by 2 into dx plus c is equal to minus integral. Write the terms or functions of exponential functions firstly e power x square by 2 into e power minus x square by 2 and the remaining sin x into dx plus c is equal to we know that e power a into e power b can be written as e power a plus b then e power x square by 2 into e power minus x square by 2 can be written as e power x square by 2 minus e power x square by 2 sorry x square by 2 or you can simply write e power minus x square by 2 as reciprocal of e power x square by 2 okay then e power x square by 2 gets cancelled and you'll get minus integral sin x dx okay simply add the powers get minus integral e power x square by 2 minus x square by 2 is 0 e power 0 is 1 then you get integral minus integral 1 into sin x dx plus c which is equal to minus integral sin x dx plus c we know that integral sin x dx is minus cos x equals to cos x plus c. Now we can replace u. Since u equals to 1 by y, then the above equation becomes e power minus x square by 2 by y equals to cos x plus c, which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.